Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So today the good news is Mary Ann started the treatment for the dentist today. But the bad news is she can't eat much today. So she's had two teeth out today. Her mouth's all swollen. Yeah, she's getting over the pain a bit. But hopefully this is the start now of all the treatment to get her teeth back to the way she wants them. But she's got a lovely smile but she hasn't been able to smile lately because of the teeth. So tonight I've made, I've opened a tin of tomato soup so she's had tomato soup, comfort food and now she just wants a little bit of pudding, comfort food. So what we're going to do is make some semolina. Mary Ann picked up a big two kilo big bag from the food initiative a couple of months ago uh, for, for a pound. So we've put it into jars so we just took 12 tablespoons of semolina, we've got 600 ml of milk warming on the cooker, so when that gets to a bit hotter we'll put the semolina in. I've got 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and I've got 1 tablespoon of sugar as well, so we'll just mix all this together. So this is this should go down okay. It's not she it doesn't have to chew anything or she can't eat anything too hot or too cold so she's gonna have to wait till it's cooled down once it's cooked. So she's been waiting two years for treatment at the dentist. And because of the situation in this country, we just can't get in to see a dentist. I could do with going to see the dentist as well, but we got struck off our normal dentist because we haven't been for a while. You get struck off if you don't go to the dentist. When really you should only be going when you need to go. But at least she's back on the books now and things will be getting sorted in the next couple of weeks. So that milk's just coming to the boil now. Just add the semolina slowly as we're stirring it. I don't, I can't remember liking semolina because we always used to have it at school dinners. So it puts me up. But I might have a little bit and just try it again. See if I like it. I don't mind rice pudding. We had rice pudding last night. That's the first time I've had rice pudding for a while. We'll, just well, I tried to fill up, didn't I? Because I couldn't eat for 12 hours. Yeah. So, the 600 ml of milk that's coming to the boil now, and 12 tablespoons of semolina. We'll just add that slowly as we're stirring. Semolina before. I normally make it too. <laughs> it's starting to thicken up. Just put it all in. Your flavourings quick. I think that needs more milk or. I'll turn the heat off then. I've just added everything to it. Turn the heat off. Mix it all in. Is that too thick or do you want more milk? <laughs> it's gonna be hot. 
I need too much hot stuff. Yeah, it needs a bit more milk. A bit more milk. Not a bit thick, so we just add a little bit more milk. It needs more sugar as well. Tablespoon of sugar. So if it's too thick, just add a little bit more milk, stir it around. So it goes smooth. Yeah, a little bit more sugar. A bit more sugar. Mm -hmm. I have no teeth left. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. So another tablespoon of sugar. So that's three so far. Probably some honey would have been better. Well, I'm going to have a little bit of honey on top as well. The treacle honey. Yeah. And there you have it. A quick pud. Doesn't take too long. Pass the taste test. <laughs> Go into the bowl. We we'll love some treacle honey. It's also homemade from dandelions. The reason it became the treacle honey is because I used the brown sugar and cooked it longer. So everything that's gone into it has all been bought from the, the pantries. Except for the honey. Yeah, apart from the honey. And even the milk is from the pantry. 50 pence for a big carton of milk. So if you're not shopping at pantries by now, why not? And there you have it. Semolina and honey pudding for Mary Ann. Okay, thanks for joining me tonight. And I'll see you soon. Bye.